Um, yeah, so this is a pyroxene amphibolite. That's from that's from here. From up here. Okay. Yeah, and you see this like strike and dip symbol. Yep. At eighty five. Yep. So that's the orientation of this thing right here, oh. and that's the myelinated shears in. So that's how small they are. Wow. They're like literally like what is that like an inch thick? Not even. Yeah. Three but quarters. Hopefully, there's more of these things at depth, mm. and these are like natural fractures in the Earth's crust, and that's sort of a, a, a good pathway for fluids to flow down. Makes sense. So I think that this is probably the source of that this. anomaly that we identified last year in that area. So that was float, but you're pretty sure. No, this was in situ. This was, was outcrop. Really? Yeah. Um, I talked to Malcolm a lot, Malcolm McCallum. He has like yep. two ideas about the PGEs in the area. One is basically like you have this like two pronged effect, like this rock is just like residually enriched in them. So like if you leach a lot of these rocks, like large yep. volume, you yep. can concentrate PGEs. Really? And the other idea is you that can. You, you can. You can, okay. Yeah. And the other idea is there are things that look more like this. So this is like, you see all the quartz and stuff? Yeah. You see like all the rusty bits? Definitely. Like those are probably massive sulfides at one point. Really? Yeah. Just so like- Weathered out now? Yeah, or? completely like weathered out. And that's like why they look so grungy hmm. for lack of a better word where, where did this come from this came from that the three fingers oh it did okay yeah there's Very some cool. cool stuff that came from hmm. there